What? He has 81,000? He has more subscribers than me! It's like his gameplay is determined by like an AI. Generic control in the dark goes, we here back with another video. Today we're doing a random TF2 video that's been requested for several weeks now. It is the story of TF2's strangest player. Now you might be wondering why I'm uploading this video, which hopefully should be going live on Saturday. There's also going to be Dragon Ball Z Bridge of Kirby and Epic Rap Out of History video going live. But I'm going to be trying to do a hundred videos in the month of December that I record, edit, upload, make every thumbnail, and read every single comment for a hundred videos in the month of December. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of random videos. There's going to be a ton of TF2 videos i'm planning on recording this tf2 video probably going to be an extra t at least one tf2 video every single week and also if you're going to become a patron for three dollars a month you get 96 of those videos a day early only four you don't get are stream vods for the gaming channel of me playing half-life one on saturdays because you don't get early access to that just because it's already been filmed it's just hasn't been uploaded to youtube yet so but today we're doing the story of tf2 strangers player which has been requested for so long by so many different commenters i read every single comments leave them down below hope they're subscribed so you don't miss future videos like i said you come on patreon i'm gonna be trying to do 100 videos just to see if i can do it i'm gonna do it as long as my health allows me to <laughs> so this is gonna this is the biggest undertaking i have ever done ever bar none so we're gonna see what i can do i'm high energy right now and i hope you are too hopefully i can make your day a little bit better but let's go ahead and jump into the story of tf2's strangest player this has been right. a six month investigation six months okay i have collected Bing hundreds of gigabytes worth of footage <laughs> i've spent plot? countless hours scouring the internet is he a youtuber did it i think we found the strangest <laughs> tf one player of all time. Why is he so strange? On the 6th of January, I uploaded a video called The NPCs of TF2. The NPCs? Which is a short compilation of all the wacky people I'd come across whilst I'm playing an NPC. tf Around 8 seconds into this video, I'll there's a kid who's been waiting for a health pack to respawn when all of a sudden, I notice a demo man below me who is perched on the side of High Towers Cliff, shooting stickies up at a gap in the floorboards. Now this isn't is how trying most to people kill people? play tf and I did think it was quite bizarre at the time, but it, it didn't go any deeper than that. Is he doing it for the memes? It, I put it in my video, and that was that. A few people commented about Can how the strategy to... this demo was using was Big actually 200 back. IQ, but besides that, I didn't really think too much of it. Is Fast it that smart? Who is this dude? 24th of January, where I was playing a game on Moss Rock, and one of my friends run into him. that a huntsman sniper on our team was taunting after every shot they fired. Every so, like after every shot? Would, we began like to follow them thing? and investigate what tomfoolery they were up to. <laughs> we picked up a clean kill with the bushwhacker on a flanking demo, and okay, then, taunt. well... Then something quite spectacular happened. Surely. So okay, so is it every kill? Wait, why did he just jump? That's right. This random. He, he went for a trick a 360 shot. Huntsman shot while falling to the <gasps> imminent death, and it actually worked. Wait, this he did he have a headshot? Blew me away, and you may actually recognize this clip because it featured in a video I released later in January called the Auto Bounce Atrocity. Now, also, really I see that he had 95,000 subscribers. Honestly, Hopefully, he has a thousand. Of it 100, I saw the comment. I mean, this video has a ton of views. So. Pointing out that this Huntsman oh, yeah, he has over just pulled off the frag of their life was the same demo man we saw in my previous yeah, video. Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed that. Was when Bing Soy officially came onto my radar. I don't know what it was exactly, but this discovery got me really interested. In <laughs> he games. landed one shot, he now he's a legend. The game was unlike anything I had ever seen before, and I wanted to know more. So the following day, I got to work. I started by creating a new text chat on my Discord. I'm trying to find him. The sightings. Could submit it's like Bigfoot. Screenshots they had of his unusual behavior. And to Sydney my surprise, Uncle we okay. started getting submissions really quickly. The first video and of course was he sent by one of my admins, Corey, who discovered right, Bingsway on Badlands spawn camping in a way that I have never seen. He booping people. Before. He's booping people. I love it's it. Air <laughs> Wait, where, where is he air blasting them to? Oh, it's oh. Like what? Forcibly Wait, air blasting into someone water into water and then so him with a power jack. Shock them? That takes ingenuity. Another clip from Corey also showed being soy. It? No, it's not. Uh, Camping his own team's teleporter. Another one of my admins, Legs, found Bing Soy on the map Altitude, where he repeatedly shot at a wall with his shotgun before backpedaling off a cliff to okay. his death. Later that game, yeah, Legs also makes... found him peering off into the mountains at the edge of the map, which, I mean, fair enough, it's a it's a pretty scenic view, but yeah, why? why? What compelled him to do this? <laughs> this juxtaposition between Bing Soy's genuinely impressive what? plays and creative strategies. And just well, bot behaviors. This 
the dismissal. Oh, oh, <laughs> really dumbfounded me. I was so intrigued by the enigma that was Bing Soy, and I had so many questions that needed answers. This isn't. The this isn't January, all like rigged, is it? Like I don't want to accuse him of anything, ground, but myself. like my investigation. It's began so with wild. The beautiful rainforest of PL Borneo, where I spotted Bing Soy <laughs> playing engineer. At first, I didn't see anything okay. too out of the ordinary. I mean, he just seemed to be playing some pretty stock standard engineer. But later in the match, he swapped to heavy, where I began to notice some oddities. Rather than holding down mouse one, I was just watching him like a normal heavy he would. He burst seemed to fire. really like tap firing with the Tommy Slub as if he were peeking an angle in CS:GO. I also noticed that Bingsley had quite <laughs> like in the affinity gap. towards taunting because he was whipping out that stock minigun taunt after literally anything of any anything. significance happening. He's taunting. Why? Oh, he's dead. The investigation continued on to the next map, Mountain Lab, where things got a lot weirder. I kid Man, you what not, do you mean a lot weirder? 60 seconds, Bing Soy was absolutely determined to do this jump, which I am 99% sure is impossible. Ah, uh, I'm sure so like it. Rocks you could oh. glitch onto, but ultimately it was to no avail. Oh. We almost made the jump from the... He also like seemed to be very paranoid as he was firing. He's a spectator mode. Everything on the map as he returned to the front line, and we also got another glimpse of his huntsman sniper gameplay, where he would randomly he shoot arrows cut? through the floorboards. Things started to get what? really weird on the next map, Badlands, where what? Bing Sui was playing Flog Pyro, and for the period of about 15 minutes, I mean did Flog nothing, Pyro, but um. Well, uh, whatever this is. I don't know if Bing Soy thought there were gang stalkers hiding in his walls, but <laughs> he seemed determined to engulf uh, every single surface of the map in, in flames, and uh, God was interested. There's not an achievement for this, is there? I ended up on his team and we swapped to Badwater, and it was more of the same. Except this time I was pocketing him, meaning he was actually yeah. racking up kills, and he also started taunting directly in front of the enemy oh. team's spawn door, which is just and alpha as fuck. You yeah, have to respect that. rampage on Pyro <laughs> was followed by some scout gameplay, except scout. not the normal kind where you're uh it's Australian. Uh, more the kind where you drink bonk to go invincible. So it's not like a little kid directly in front of your enemies. Next up, we landed on Snowy Coast, where things seem pretty I... normal until uh, oh, Bing Soy is trying oh, to shoot through dude. walls as heavy, which okay. if you didn't know is impossible. You can't. Ultimately, though, not in this I think game. Bing Soy finished off the day with perhaps his with the most cowmangler. daring strategy of jumping off the edge of the map using the base jumper to float and then trying to kill gamers as he slowly creeped towards his inevitable death. That one, uh. That one didn't go too well. So look, he did get a kill. Okay. Observation, and we saw Bing Soy cycle through at least. Does like he notice that? Like, also did there are they changing Bing Soy sightings in my Discord by Corey? Oh my again, God! Yeah, what graphics are you playing on, dude? So look, uh, after a full day on the field, we did observe a lot of strange behavior. Uh, that much was for sure. You can but play TF2 on a toaster. I wasn't really any closer to uh, understanding why. How old is this toaster? This. But that was about to change because my Discord made a very interesting discovery. Is it more than one person? had a YouTube channel. Now, it hadn't been <laughs> active in two years, but he had quite I, the backlog of TF2 content here. Yeah, the channel started but, off with some Minecraft videos in early 2018, okay. but it soon turned into some pretty damn good TF2 fragments. Okay. I mean, take a look at the I mean, I was a Minecraft trick shotter. Enforcer, which features a lot of period. insane huntsman kills, Whoa. similar to the one I put in my video. There was also a bunch of pyro-related stuff here. A nice. Which things, so he appeared to be actually very good at judging by the quality. He's not even moving. All he's doing is <laughs> <makes laughs> <it really laughs> proved to me that things, so is okay. far from being a noob, and in fact, I, I mean, actually He's he really good at the game. It's just that he voluntarily handicaps himself with these wacky ass strategies, and I kind of have a respect for that. I guess the only sad part well, about this uh, discovery was that the channel seemed to be inactive for now, which I is mean, unfortunate. But it actually one minute clips don't really do like well for very long. You see, a week or so had already gone by since Everybody's the formation like I found him. of Bing Soy sightings at this point, and a cult of personality was starting to emerge <laughs> oh, around God. Bing Soy. He was growing quite the reputation amongst not only my Discord, How, but the wider Nobody's Australian ever even mentioned TF2 Bing Soy community. to me. People were taking note of him when he was in games, sending messages in text know? chat, and now they were finding his YouTube channel and leaving comments there. Oh, he plays on Octopia. I stream Octopia on Fridays. Soy, I decided to once again uh, 5 7 p.m. East Time. Down. Down. Mr. Play viewers. This You're day's more investigation join. first led me to uh, land where going. Bing Soy was experimenting with a new strategy on Heavy. Rather than using his favorite tap-firing Tommy Slab tactic, he was instead making use of the Buffalo Steak Sandwich and Holiday Punch, meaning he was hunting <laughs> down enemy gamers to secure some taunt kills. Unfortunately, <laughs> because... things weren't going all that well for Bing Soy with this strat, and to top things off, I actually managed to get an accidental telefrag on him whilst I was observing. I telefragged him. Oh <laughs> no, poor the guy. Attempts as we moved over to Viaduct, uh, but again, it didn't seem to land him any success. Things did begin huh. spicing up when we swapped the process, though, the, as he switched to demo with the sticky the, jump up. He has to know. On the first rollout to mid, I ended up dying pretty quickly, but that didn't nice matter, dot. because it allowed me to spectate Dot here, so it must be changing. Uh, 
this. He just doesn't look at the map the same way I do. I thought I usually looked <laughs> pretty vertically, but he looks more vertically. <laughs> after this, he played a little demo night and began taunting after the kills I was getting, which was some nice moral support. But other I, I than guess. that, uh, not too much else occurred. We did have some more footage sent to the Discord, however, where another one of my admins uh, chopped and this is just on February. Sweden in yet another peculiar manner. Oh. Oh, did he just, so he just blew it himself wasn't the up. most fruitful session of stalking being soy, but that didn't matter because yet again my Discord had made another very important revelation. Dude, what? Not also, this video was a being soy website discovered, but huh? I happened to feature in it. The homepage what? of the website had a nice SFM banner where we could make out a few things. Firstly, what? there's the background where we can see Bing Soy included some of his favorite loadouts like Huntsman Sniper, uh -huh. Lock and Load Demo, as well as his fabled spawn camping pyro shot. Now the next thing to note yeah. was the <sighs> foreground where there are four figures. The Is he one on of them? The left represented Brattles, an Australian TF tuber who also runs okay. a really popular high tower I've server never heard of him, Have but... Fun, which is one of Bing Soy's favorite. Now the next figure here is a soldier with a black painted Miami Knights Tyrant's helm, which is that of course him? represents myself. Yeah. And this did come cool as hat. a bit of a shock to me. I to have my a right was my admin Corius Pyro, who had not only submitted some His of those admin. clips I showed before, but it also like started to form frogs. a bit of a relationship nice. with Bing Soy. And finally, the one who probably Uncle doesn't Dane. need an introduction is Uncle, Uncle Dane on the right. And he is featured on the banner because Bing Soy really likes the Uncle Topia I mean, so who doesn't like? a better way of playing TF2 compared to casual. Now, it didn't end there either with the website. I don't even because have my own website. Section, there was a subheading named Special Thanks. Where he stated, "Special thanks, El Maxo." The Bing Soy become more than a myth. Gaming world, that Bing Soy is something more than a myth. What? This was absolutely wild, and one of my friends actually said something I was thinking. We need to Bing Soy is honored. Is Bing Soy an ARG? <laughs> I don't know if it is. That's awesome. Without everything was panning he, out so far uh, in the investigation, so he, he, it really well, obviously seemed like he knew. Bing Soy was some manufactured alternate reality rather than a real human being. It was discovered oh. that Bing Soy had a bunch of other channels on YouTube too. Uh, one of which oh. featured an anime he created that has over 1 million views. I was honestly really, I don't even have a video with that many views. Thus far, and it turns out that was Entire only going to guess. continue. As four days later, on the 10th of February, Bing Soy Team Fortress returned uploaded? from a two-year hiatus with, with a uploaded upload. what? What did he upload? was titled Requiem, but there was something a bit strange about oh, okay. this upload because the first 42 so seconds views. showed this cryptic message of a happy stick figure progressively growing what? sadder what? and sadder. Why? What? Why? What, what is happening? I still have no idea what to make of this introduction, by the way, but at the time when I saw it, I was definitely starting to believe that the AIG theory may hold more weight than I initially what is thought. AIG? The description also read something so, AIG big is an insurance company, I'm pretty which sure. Which again, really cryptic, and I'm not fully sure what to make of it. The rest of the video featured some very cool pyro frags on Hightower, but that mysterious now I bet there's a bunch of people that are imitating him. I will say though that Bing Soy did end up pinning my comment, so hey, we've got that going for us. Okay, Another yeah. four days later Senpai on February you. 14th, it did Valentine's seem we Day. really pulled Bing Soy out of YouTube retirement because we were blessed with yet another upload. The video is called Uncle Topia One Life Huntsman. The reason I love this video so much is the timestamps, where Bing Soy detailed literally everything, everything, everything that happened in the video. This ranged all That's the way a, from every, when you put timestamps in the video, I really appreciate people that do that. Seconds, and all the way to There's a couple of you that do. shot, shoot or die at two minutes and four seconds. In a video spanning just over two minutes, Bing Soy managed to include over oh? 40 timestamps, which I honestly think is a cool idea that feels pretty avant garde that's, when that's it a comes lot. to TF2 content on YouTube. Now, I will admit that from this point onwards, the flow of the Bing Soy investigation came to a grinding halt on my Why? end. Why? So I moved on to some different video projects. So it was really my Discord. This video has how many views? Over the next two Five and million months. views. No Zero, a fellow Australian TF tuber, found him on March 12th taunting and zapping his way to the front line with the short circuit uh, the following day on March I guess 13th, all the Australians just play Bing together. Soy who tried to join the Discord, or at least we think they were fake, because Mr. Soy seems to be a pretty elusive dude who rarely communicates in games, so seeing him join my Discord felt a bit unlikely. In yeah. late March and early April, there were a like bunch said, of screenshots of him in the game, and then on the 3rd of April, No Zero made his own video compiling his interactions with Bing, Bing Soy. Soy. To be honest with you, it's bloody beautiful. Uh, we got to see more of his pyro shark, more of his taunting, it and more sense. of his affinity towards jumping off the map. So look, at and this point, it had just been a, a while, but on shot. the 22nd of April, I decided it was time for me to return. So I once oh, again put 22? on my boots okay. and picked up my camcorder because we were going hunting. It's always been two months since I last watched Bing Soy. There he is. Are you sure it's actually him? Oh, he knows. So he knows. Hell okay, yeah. he's actually like recognizing them. He knows who I am. I've seen his website. <laughs> I've seen his website. I think he knows what's up. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
The pirate was a spy. You know there's like one thought going on in that head. It keeps like looking. His head keeps where is he going? He's so odd. <laughs> uh something's not quite right. What, what is he doing? Taking a break? Taking a breather. <laughs> it's like his gameplay is determined by like an AI. He's in. Like he literally He's in. just like shakes a magic eight ball like what should I do in TF two today? Some. Go stand in a corner. Okay. Let's see what Bing's up to. Maybe ask Wait, Bing. What? Wait, there's two Bing's oh, toys? He's got the bind set up. He wants the oh. good spawn. The Bing so What's what? What's Wait, he what? doing? Is he, he's getting himself low so he can escape plan in. Escape plan in. Okay. okay. Again, uh, more of the same wacky strategies we were all accustomed I to, but at this point, I really wanted to get deeper with Bing Soy and understand the mentality behind everything he was mm. doing. Later that day, though, my Discord discovered a fresh upload a on the Bing Soy channel called Uncle Topia Caber Bomber. And as the name is suggested, Bing it was a cool montage of him going around harassing inferior enemy gamers, inferior with jumper, and Caber combo. The interesting thing about this video Wait, is that I'm it actually Uncle went Topia on to for a while. The algorithm at the time I'm, I'm writing, I... this video has almost ten thousand views, which is the most successful video on Bing Soy's channel yeah, to date. That's pretty good. Really I wonder if I'm in in well, actually, no, there's no way I'm playing. Playing around with all the camera angles. In Australia. So it's good to see that his channel was starting to get some more attention. We also continued to get some more sightings, as on the 12th of May, Var from my Discord noticed he had a game banana account and had created a new hit sound uh, and a custom what, model for the Sticky what? Jumper. On the 29th of May, Digger Darby found him taunting his way around Sorry, the best map in the game, CP Steel, and on the 3rd of June, No Zero managed to pocket him with the quick fix all the way behind the enemy team on up. Upward, where he okay. did the classic demo base jumper sticky strategy over the wall. I ended up running into him oh, on the 12th of June on Steel, where he was doing some strange Why? exploration of cliff face around point E. Why? I also managed to score a high five with him on the next map. A upward, score where a high five. did that strategy of shooting stickies over the wall to the first spawn area. My absolute favorite Bing Soy sighting happened later it, that month on the 20th of June, this where is, we got a favorite. dual perspective of a beautiful moment that unraveled. Wait, what? Wait, wait, whoa, huh? Wait, huh? I don't think huh? I've ever seen someone flick faster in my life after a taunt to get a kill, and boy was it something. As maybe, maybe Bing Soy is a bot, it actually to but there's a person behind him. No, but he, again, doesn't, I found myself running into he doesn't him act like a bot sometimes. Frequently. Things kicked off on the 1st of July, where I found him taunting on cooldown with the scorch shot, absolutely <laughs> determined to get a kill with it. Oh, he's doing what I do, where you shoot the other way with it. <laughs> what do you mean shoot the other way with it? Excuse me? <laughs> Like, what? Ten days later, on the 11th of July, I was playing with people okay. from my Discord when, yep, you guessed it, Bing Soy was playing on Uncle Topia. He continued to sticky trap our there spawn must... and spam pipes I mean, there's probably actually a lot of people play. Eventually, he did come out of his shell Australia somewhat and started playing around as Pyro and Huntsman Sniper. It was during the session and at this point in the investigation that I finally mustered up the courage to send Bing Soy a, a friend, friend request. Watch him deny it. Given how the vibe was pretty chill on the server, I thought it was more likely he would accept. However, it seemed he like it. he ignored my invite yeah. for the moment and instead he changed his profile picture. To wait, what did he change Why? it to? Did he change it to Bing no? Soy. He did. He always does this. Which is something what do you mean he, he always does did this? way back on the 31st of January whilst we were playing on Badlands. Oh, he changed it back. What? Do you, what? He the, changed his profile Bing Soy. picture. Doing this and... and, and what? I, I, he changed it live! Okay. Who does that? I don't know what do prompts you not him to do, do this, but hey, he's a free man changing his profile picture and doing whatever he wants. What? It was pretty did he do that in response? So I decided to get some sleep, but one of our Discord investigators named Sleepy, Sleepy. actually decided wow, to stick ironic. around with Bing Sleep, which led is to he gonna, some very important Is he gonna write messages? Now, the first important development was that Bingsley accepted my friend request okay, for Steam, which okay. a nice progression in our relationship. The second yeah. part, which absolutely blew me away, was Bingsley's profile picture. Now, you remember that he changed it mid-game to this it, it looks like a random, a like, sniper. But the original like, small one rock band album contain some secret messages within it. You can see that in the foreground what is, this? is Bing Scott Soy's character Cawthorn? sitting on a bench in this kind of cosmic spacey setting. What Sleepy Did discovered, however, is that in the background were three different drawings. We can see that the drawing on bulb. the right is a light bulb, on fire. which represents my admin Corey's pyro loadout. Oh, in the middle okay. is a little cube, which represents No Zero's profile picture. And most interestingly, on the it left is... is Bing Soy's drawing of an actual photo of me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's it's okay. a photo I used on Discord for a month or two 
to. It's a photo I what? use on my second channel, and it's also oh. still my current Twitter profile. <laughs> you can see the necklace, you can see the beanie, and you oh, can yeah. see the thumbs up. So this Fair absolutely enough. blew me away. Now the reason we became what? aware of this information is because Investigator Sleepy managed to ask Bing Sui a bunch of questions. Whilst it was oh, just did he actually respond? Oh, it's just the two of them. Okay. Oh, transcript that Sleepy asked, are there any TF2 YouTubers you enjoy watching? And Bing Sui responded, my profile pic. My profile pic. Sleepy then followed up so with, he's are a there fan? three in your profile picture the only YouTubers you watch? Which Bing Sui responded to with a no. So Sleepy but asked, but they're your favorites. They There's your no favorites. you in favorites. Bing Sui responded with Fight yes. me. Uh, hello. Uh, hi there. This is Editing El Maxo here, and I actually have to let you know something that I've learned since I wrote the script for this video. Uh, you see all these the lovely questions Sleepy prepared and, and Bing Sui responded yeah. to in this text document? Well, they were actually sourced in quite an unbelievable manner. Um, how? You know Bing Sui isn't big on communicating through text or voice so, chat? So how to did get he... the answers to these questions, yeah. and I kid you not, Sleepy he wrote on a wall. almost two hours in the middle of the night going around Koth Lakeside having Bing Sui either shoot at letters on signs or to, draw them to... with bullets or use the Scottish resistance to, to spell them out, which Sleepy would proceed to Why? transcribe in text chat, and Bing Sui would shake his head if they were right. It wasn't just like typing what? out. No, he this is like process and I had no idea dedication. about where his script is. <laughs> Sleepy has the full one hour and 47 minute recording on his computer, but he sent me through this small section to prove it. And oh my God. That is. Fuck. I had um, no idea Sleepy went what? to such lengths to secure some answers from Bing Soy. So I have included the full transcript. Why did he just talk and in big chat? Thanks to Sleepy again, because that is dedication to the cause. For God, e finding this out yeah. the next day sent me spinning. We were now even deeper into the Bing Soy rabbit hole and I was what? for it. It was Man, at this point that I knew uh, I had to make a documentary He's not a kid! Because the story so far was too goddamn I, interesting to pass up on. Sleepy also collected I, some more footage of Bing Soy whilst I was asleep, and he's passionate. it uh, was some of the strangest stuff I've seen so far. The next day, whilst I was playing on Barnes, Oh god, that's, I hate Bing that looking. Wait, again, that's not a turret. Bush as Huntsman <laughs> you may again recognize this clip because it featured in my last clip dump and marks Bing oh. Soy's third official appearance in an El Maxo video. So look, it oh, was clear oh. at this point that the way Bing Sui played TF2 was is, strange. I don't think anyone yeah, could deny I mean, that. There's no wrong way to play. No, why? What His fueled profile the man is behind private, the even as a friend? Well, we could theorize, we could come up wow. with some wild speculation, we could continue to observe him and Wait. maybe edge just that little bit closer to How an How do you answer, communicate with him? Why would I do that? If I wanted to know the truth, I had to ask Bing Sui directly. So I conjured up this grand message with five wow. questions in it. Number one was what compels you to play the game like you do. Number two uh, was what is your favorite unconventional there's strategy? There's no you in favor. Number three was do you have any long-term goals with TF2 or your YouTube channel? Four was how I, you enjoyed the increased level of tension you've gotten in the past six I'm months. sure he and loves five it. was, what piece of advice would you give to the TF2 community? I mean, he literally talked really about poke and prod making him more than a myth, life, so. But I did want to get a better idea of what made him tick in TF2. I wasn't fully sure if we'd get a response given how private Bing Sui seems to be, but given uh, Sleepy I don't think managed to ask him some questions, I was praying we would get some form of response. And so I waited. And I waited. And, and waited. And I waited. But I in, never got that response. From never. Him. I tried this last ditch effort he just investigating him whilst he was on Upward, and just as you'd expect, he was on his favorite pick, Huntsman Sniper. He was getting killed. Like typical Australian he activities. Was a lot, and hey, he, he even went for a game-winning shot whilst he fell off the map to stop the enemy team from capping. But that was it. So I sat there, in, I reflected, and I had a sort of epiphany. Because I think well, Bing Soy can teach us a lot. The mystery of him? You know, we don't always have to lean on what's meta. We don't have to keep going back to the loadouts which we are most comfortable with. We don't True. always have to obsess over the objective and sweat our asses off. Sometimes you can just it's do good to get out of our Bing comfort Soy. zone and try and unlock that we've never used before. After this playing is TF2 wild. for so long, I think we subconsciously lock ourselves into these rigid play styles and fail to experiment and push the game to its limit. I mean, you know, you like get the game that have, have twenty thousand kills on your strange you don't sniper pick, rifle. You don't turn on the game on to that lose, next life, but you can take a note out of play the game fun. and give the huntsman a go. Or maybe the next time you're on demo, you could swap out that iron bomber you love so dearly and uh, try out the lock and load. And hey, hey give me a loose it has been a while since you used the holiday punches. Head, I've never used it. it. So you know actually, what? maybe being so strange after not really. Honestly, I think he encapsulates the beauty of TF2 so well. So look. Maybe Bing Sui will respond to, to, to my message one day. Maybe Wait, he'll provide me that? with all the answers I wanted and we'll reach the a nice Bing and Soy. clean resolution to Bing the Enigma what? that is Bing Sui. But honestly, I don't really want him to. Is he going to be really in the video? Want him to. Want him to. That's no. where things were supposed to finish. Oh. A poetic ending, all thought And then out. Bing Sui probably One day, I noticed a Steam him. notification when I got back to my PC it said, from Bing Sui. And he had sent me a link. 
to a Google Drive folder. I yep. did record a live analysis of discovering this folder with fellow okay. investigators Corey and Sleepy, which I will weave in at times, but it was honestly a mess. So I'm just going to do some post commentary to oh, explain okay. everything that it, happened. Why is Google Drive, Google Drive being so Did it answer the question? Is just key pictures? Files. The first was a file named El Max's questions. Oh, there you go. Which, as that... the name suggests, contains those questions I mentioned earlier in the video. But it's the a next file text called file. Read okay. Me is unfortunately only for my eyes as directed by Bing Soy, but I okay. will say that he gave me express permission to use everything else he sent in this folder in the video, so don't worry about that. Next up was a folder okay. named Main Images, which contains the bulk of what we are going to be analyzing, but before I get to that, I want to discuss okay. the contents of Other, which what is other three images. The stickers. Oh my god, stickers. stickers. Which contained a stick figure drawing of my soldier with his tyrant's helm along it's with like my little dog Mackie on the shoulder. I also presume that it's Bing Sway on the right, but what but I found a little distressing anything. is the straight expressions on their face, which don't suggest so much like... happiness, which is a little sad. The next yeah. image was called Whoa. Sticker, and this contains something similar to those visuals we saw in the Where intro like to this video. Sad, record, which was a little distressing. But we there's see no someone faces. Who seems to be like there's eyes from a group of people. But we'll talk a bit more about this later. The final image in the folder was called Stickest, which seems to be an MS Paint drawing of oh. someone approaching a house in the woods. I'm not sure how to interpret this, and the only thing I could really I, recognize was the TF logo in the window. So oh, if that's you have any cool. ideas as to what this may mean, be sure to leave it in the comments. Is that the TF logo, that or is that quite cryptic? And I'm still not half fully sure oh, how to interpret it. The most important stuff for us is in the folder. Played Half Life right now on Saturdays. Which uh, 5 p.m. actually. Not half Life answers out to my questions, but instead drawn them. We can yeah. start with question. How did I know? What compels you to play the game like you do? And here was his response. The first image, which is... depicts someone pouring a liquid into a glass, we decide to okay. do experimentation, which confirms our belief that Bing Soy likes to push boundaries with the strategies. Uh, obviously. Uses. The second image depicts a little astronaut on the moon with a flag, which we believe to mean New a territory. sense of accomplishment. Maybe Bing Soy wants or, to be the yeah, first okay. person to popularize these strategies and make what? them more well known. Yeah, the make a new meta. What sure about was what looked to be a little play button on the moon. So perhaps he wants to grow his YouTube channels with these different types of strategies. Maybe he wants we to be the first tip to the third image on the moon. The deciphered as genuine yeah. insanity. Yeah, sounds about <laughs> right. Eyes. We didn't yeah. realize it at the time, but as famous YouTuber It's Feckin' Raw from YouTube channel <laughs> What is that name? Us, is that this was a drawing of a character from the game Encryption. Now, I'm not going to act Never like I've ever it. played it, so I'm not actually sure what that symbolizes. The fourth image seemed pretty obvious, and we think volume this means up. Bing Sui wants to level up his intelligence in-game with what he can that do. Says so volume it's no surprise, up. but by doing all these wild strategies, maybe he has communication issues? Broad knowledge of TF2 and how it works. And finally, the image could, I found could be autistic, honestly. Bing Maybe high phone, definitely high phone. Seems that he thinks probably, that there's more how negativity is in the TF2 community, the as symbolized by the broken heart weighing more. And Bing Sui wants to use his wacky play style could to be. bring more love and positivity to the community, which That's I think fair. is really admirable. Yeah. So, to answer why Bing Sui plays the game so differently, it's because he likes to experiment. He wants to be the first to succeed with these strategies. He's insane. <laughs> He's insane. Really know about this one. He wants to level yeah, up his be. intelligence. And finally, he wants to bring more positivity to the community. The second question yeah. I asked him was what was his favorite unconventional strategy Ooh. to use in TF2? And the answers are a Dude, lot more direct here. At is the Bing Soy the Zodiac Killer? Karate and Bushwhacker combo, which I will admit I personally don't think is all that unconventional. The bottom left okay. is a strategy we have seen a lot the, in this video. The trick that shot. Is the Bing Soy trademark suicide huntsman plays. 360 he headshot. Finally, one of my favorite pieces of art he made for oh, this. Oh yeah, the shock pyro. pyro. Which of course yeah. means that one of his favorite unconventional strategies also happens to be Pyro Shock. The third well, question I asked him was if he had any long-term goals with TF2 or YouTube, I, and this one was interesting. The first thing he say is easy to decide. I mean, he's good at drawing. He really likes YouTube and wants to see his channel grow, which they can okay, definitely yeah. want to. The second image was a little complex, so we'll take it bit by bit. I, the middle well, of it oh, is there's the half-life sign, which we assume means that Bing Sui wants to put out some educational content about, firstly, demos, because as we've seen, he's actually really good with using the demo system. He's, Secondly, video making yeah. in general. Thirdly, we good practice. Sure about, I've been doing and it for the forever. And the fourth one kind of looked like like a strategy or maybe movement we weren't entirely sure Flank? about that. The I don't third know. image was a wholesome one. Uh, as we can see is a love heart in a film. film reel with my tyrant's helm, no zero's oh. icon, Corey's light bulb, and Uncle Dane's Engie. Dude, which may mean there's a video that coming is out so with maybe tidy. even some potential collabs. So I'm not sure, but it, it seems pretty Does exciting. Uncle Dane the like talked about him at all? group of images was all of Bing Soy's different YouTube channels linking into one main area off screen. Okay. So maybe this means a central channel is coming or a crossover or maybe uh, even a Bing Soy cinematic universe. Which a cinematic awesome. universe. So to summarize this third one, Bing we can see he has goals about growing his channel, making some educational content, a potential collab 
more video with some other creators and perhaps yeah. more crossover with his animation and music channels. The fourth question I asked him was what were his like, thoughts on good. the increased level of attention he's gotten from the community in the past six months. And this and like, he's good at making thumbnails. But also saddening. The first image relates back he's to one of his drawings. Like, he can absolutely be a successful YouTuber. The community has more negativity than positivity and he wants to balance it out. Now after this, uh, it actually tells me the story with the timeline of images. It's not Overwatch. Starting with Bingsway on the left being found by myself, okay, Nozero, and Corey. I'm recording. Detention from us, and I assume the wider community, prompted Bingsway to blow the metaphorical dust and webs off his camera, or in this case, his YouTube channel, and started making videos again. We Is that the caber? We can cool little drawing representing his caber video. Yeah, that, surprised that, by that hit the algorithm. Positive attention nice. Received. This has led him to being surprised by all the people who recognize him in game, and has also made him a lot more stressed about making videos. As That's a fair. That's consuming process, and uh, don't worry, Bingsway, I... I definitely hear you on that one. Yeah. Now, in the next image, we can see that Bing Sui sees all this new attention as a double edged sword. He's grateful, he's grateful but he's also stressed. Yes, he no. But he's also stressed out, which makes sense after gaining a lot of eyes on you so quickly. The next image yeah. I wasn't all too sure on, so I shall let investigator Sleepy and Corey give their live analysis. I think it's like he's Different showing paths? that he's going towards the future, and while the future is like uncertain, he's failed he multiple feels times. As he's... he's avoided sadness or something similar. Yeah. Because it's possible. Previously with TF2, he like because he's always making he a 50 50 decision. He could do, yeah, do something um, or doesn't do something. You know, so this like new approach might be whilst it's maybe not, it's giving um, up. He doesn't know what it could be. It's maybe it's how many times he almost gave up on this. Right. He's used to. The next image if shows he gave up, he'd be sad. himself around a group of people, showing that he feels isolated and disconnected from those around him who he plays TF2 with, which is something okay. that makes me sad. One thing I've wanted to avoid in this video is I mean, he's the only person that plays like him. Which I get I can't completely avoid given the bizarre nature of how he plays the game, but it does break me a little Dude. that he feels this way about this the video is a great suggestion. Him, that's something I I'm glad I watched it. The final image they shows this giant magnifying section. glass with an eye staring down on Bing Sui, which links back to the idea of the strength of the attention on him having every time he's watched. The final question I asked Bing Sui was if he had any advice to give the TF2 community. And have it fun. actually appears he doesn't. I found this interesting he because he perceives there to be a lot of negativity in the community, but maybe he doesn't but see it as his role to comment on yeah, it it's give not. advice to everyone about, as he may just see it as his own personal goal for him to do his best on to improve the state of things. The yeah. final two images in this folder was this cool bit of art from Bing Sui where he features his new little logo for his oh, that, that's, stuff that's and a cool. thank you which I am honestly honoured to receive. I decided to make this my desktop background because it looks that's, really sick that's and I'm dope. really thankful to have this covered Bing Sui who's taken me on such a wild ride for the past. How many subscribers does so Bing Sui every, have now? I didn't now. expect any of this and I wrote a script as if he wouldn't respond but to my surprise we actually got some answers. And it's I think as, Bing as cryptic too, as possible. Because it's easy to fall into these Bing Styles we've become accustomed Whoa, to he has 81,000 more subscribers than me. That even sometimes I can't comprehend what he's trying to go for with his strategies. That doesn't the really matter. The camera video is 233,000 views. Game how he wants to and picking up some video worthy clips in the process. So look, uh, to tie this all together, I want to give you the ending I wrote to this documentary, assuming Bing Sui wasn't going to respond, because I think it actually ties everything together really nicely. There was actually one question Sleepy asked Bing Sui <laughs> I mean, during that late night five session, million views will do that, I guess. Out earlier, but I do want you to hear it now. He asked Bing Sui, do you have any advice for other people? What's something you'd like to convey? I was to not, I expected maybe to have like 30,000. So maybe, keep it up mind, yeah. just maybe the no, next time you see a cliff and there's an enemy just across from you and oh you happen to have the Huntsman equipped, why not go for he that deserves shot? It. I, I think this dude's awesome, Soy I love him. Would want us to do. Thanks for watching. Bing Soy, you're awesome. And this video was so well put together, so well done. His voice is also beautiful, perfect for these types of videos. Absolutely, special thanks to Bing Soy. I feel like this could be a video, there could be something very cryptic at the end from Bing Soy. Patrons. Yeah, you become a patron. I'm trying to do 100 videos this month. I think you're watching this video on Saturday. Should be a DBZA with Kirby going live and an epic rap battle of history as well. And like I said, I will be streaming at 5 p.m. playing some Half-Life 1. And I stream uh, Team Fortress 2 on Fridays on Uncle Top. You're 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're more welcome to join for that. But Bing Soy is awesome. Like, he's somebody that plays video games for fun, which... Is almost unheard of these days. Everybody's trying to be competitive. Every every game's trying to be an esport. Everyone's trying to be better than somebody else. Not have fun and play video games, you know? Like just like take us back to the days of like when you were twelve or thirteen, playing Call of Duty or Halo or Battlefield or TF two if you were grew up playing TF two and stuff like that. Like for me it was playing Modern Warfare two back in the day, like twenty 
not 2009, 2010, 2011, those years, back when I was like 11, 12, 13 years old, back before life got serious and everything became what it is now and everything became meta and you can't do anything without getting bullied online. And I mean, you could get bullied online back then, but it was just kind of like a different kind, I guess that makes sense. Like now you can be like publicly shamed, like they can put you in a YouTube video or like they can publicly shame you or cancel you or stuff like that for the most part. But I mean, you're not really going to get canceled as a person. You're just going to get flack for it because people look at people that stand out differently. But this dude is awesome. I like how cryptic he is. I don't know why. Like, I, like it's like I, I mentioned the whole autism thing. I know some people that have high functioning autism. I have a lot of friends that are high functioning autism. Uh, my friends think it's something about me that I just like. I like becoming friends with people with high functioning autism. Uh, but I know that some people can struggle with communication and talking and stuff like that. So maybe I could be completely wrong. That's literally just based on him being cryptic. That could have absolutely no weight. That's literally just a theory, and it's not like it's not like a negative theory or anything like that. It's just a hypothesis that I have. That it could be right, could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Bing Soy is better at the game than I am. He has more subscribers than I am. Therefore, he's a better YouTuber, better at TF2, and just he's here to have fun. And I hope I made you laugh in this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Check out the original. It should be the top link in the description. And uh, if you want to support the channel, on my way to 100 videos in the month of December, I read all your comments. At least them down below. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing.